So I used to work as a narrator. Uh, that was like my main side hustle. At, at some points, it was my main focus was being like a on-camera host for random people's products and uh, just doing voiceovers for anything from like car wash ads to audiobooks to, to all sorts of weird things that I had no business doing. Uh, and... I enjoyed doing the character side of things, but when it came to doing, like, corporate narration of, like, some engineers and the regulations that are coming out, that stuff was the worst thing in the world. And it would take so much time because of uh, just acronyms and things like that. You would get them wrong and have to do it again. And I hate it, but it was it was something that I made money at, and so I kept doing it. Recently, one of the, the most boring clients I had contacted me if I could do a voiceover for their organization, and I just never got back to them. But uh, I should have, and what I should have done is clone my voice and just run something through it. I don't think I knew cloning voices existed a month ago, but now that I do, I wanted to explore two of these services, um, which which are a little different, but they're both really interesting and I think could be useful in some way. So we're going to look at Descript. So Descript is something that's not... It's 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 a very wide-ranging service. They, they offer a lot of different things. But one of those things is called Overdub, which lets you clone your voice, mostly in order to fix small passages. Say you're doing a podcast or a video narration, and you want to just fix a, a certain segment because either you said something wrong or you wanted to change some of the details... Well, this will let you do that without getting the microphone out and doing it again. The other service is from a company called Eleven Labs, and it is um, much different in that it lets you do full narration, and it sounds pretty good. So let's just take a look at the process of both of those things. So this is the interface for Descript. Very boring. Uh, Descript is really interesting to me because they, it offers so many amazing tools, and it really lets you get a lot of work done quickly. But I find the UI one of the worst things I've ever seen. Uh, maybe they'll change that one day, and I hope to God they do, because it really is great tools in just a weird package. So what we're going to do is uh, I've already created a voice. When you're creating a voice with, with the overdub, uh, there is a lot of tutorials on how to do it, but they want at least 10 minutes of your voice recorded with a recommendation of 30 minutes of English language speech in your voice. So uh, I started out thinking, okay, I'm going to read this, uh, the demo script they have, which is, I think, from Planet Earth. And I thought I'll do 10 minutes. And then I was just like, no, let's, let's get this as good as possible. And I sat there and I did the 30 minutes and it ended up being 46 minutes once I cut out all the, the little mistakes I made. Uh, which is a lot of work if you're sitting there and, and you're especially if you're not used to it like I'm fairly used to doing sometimes hours a day of narration 46 minutes of reading is a long time uh, but that's what overdub wants to get the best possible quality of voice so here's a little bit of uh, what it sounded like I had a especially deep voice that morning not sure why but this is what it sounded like its mother does everything possible to help it. The storm is now subsiding, but not all the elephants have been so lucky. So once you're finished and you upload your, your 30 minutes of recording, you submit your training data, and uh, you have to enter a, a voice ID, which is just basically saying, I give permission in order to use this, um, to use this audio and this voice. And... So it's already been done. It does take up to 24 hours, and it did, I think, take the full 24 hours for me to be able to get that voice, at least probably 10, 12 hours. So it takes quite a while, and what do you do with when you're done with it? Well, we're going to go back to the projects here, and uh, we're going to start a new project. Uh, this one here, and we're going to call this one Bees. And what I've done is I've just got ChatGPT to write a little uh, documentary script about bees. Not sure why bees, but why not? It's as good as anything. And what we're going to do is hit start writing. I'm going to paste that in there. Now once you paste your script in here, 
you have a couple of options, but what all we're going to do is choose the voice that we're going to use. We could use some of their stock voices. This one is, uh, I, I believe, the old Don, the trailer voice guy, that they've sort of trained something that sounds like him. There's a couple of others that are pretty good, but I'm going to use Elvis Growley because it's already, already there. One of the many annoying things about this is that despite I'm paying 15 bucks a month to use the script, they want me to pay $30 a month to be able to, to use more than a thousand words. So we're going to get some, some weirdness here. So let's just give it a play and see how it sounds. These, one of nature's most jabber creatures. Without them, our food sources would jabber drastically. Jibber, take a closer look at these amazing insects. These are jibber for pollinating a third of the world's crops, including fruits, vegetables, and nuts. This process helps plants produce fruit and seeds, ensuring the growth and jabber of future generations. So, I mean, that's what it is. It sounds like me, but it sounds like you're taking the words I said and clipping them together. The the flow of it isn't very natural. It's It's a little stilted and awkward. So... Is it a solution that you could use for voiceover? Sure, if you wanted it to sound like a weird robot. Um, I don't think Descript is necessarily the way to go for something longer, especially considering our next competitor here. So this is Eleven Labs, and they have some uh, some ways of, of testing it out right on the, the site. It gives you up to 300 characters. Um, it's really good, and it's also that the pricing is really affordable for... The starter, which is what I have, and allows you to do up to 30,000 characters a month, it's just 5 bucks a month. It's almost a no-brainer to try it out, and you can create up to 10 custom voices, which is pretty phenomenal. Uh, also, in my experience, it is very much faster than Descript. Descript took almost a full day, and this took minutes. It was, it was almost instant. It also only needed, uh, I think, they, they said less than 5 minutes is ideal to create your voice. So let's take a look at what that sounds like. Uh, we're going to take that same bees script and paste it in here. And we're going to use this. Uh, they've, they've got a lot of pre-made voices. Uh, and you can also sort of tune their pre-made voices to, to create new voices uh, under the speech synthesis. But we're just going to use the one that I've already made that was trained on parts of that Planet Earth script that I did for the script. So the same source, but uh, this is what it's going to sound like. Bees, one of nature's most essential creatures. Without them, our food sources would diminish drastically. Let's take a closer look at these amazing insects. Uh, bees are responsible for pollinating a third of the world's crops, including fruits, vegetables, and nuts. This process helps plants produce fruit and seeds, ensuring the growth and reproduction of future generations. Beekeepers play a vital role in maintaining bee populations, protecting them from predators and disease, and providing them with a safe and healthy environment to thrive. <laughs> Bees work together in highly organized so colonies, creepy. with each bee fulfilling a specific role, from collecting nectar and pollen to caring for the young. They even communicate with one another through complex dances, directing their fellow bees to the best sources of food. Okay, so it is really good. It does sound somewhat like me. Some of the, the intonation is right, and it's it's closer to my voice, definitely, than Descript. What the hell was that weird laugh in the middle of it? That's terrifying. And I don't remember submitting any portion of it where... I laughed, so that's super creepy. Uh, but I think that might come down to the voice settings, in which I turn the stability down to zero. Normally it's somewhere up here, like 80%, and that gives a much more even flow, uh, which I think is probably too much. And to get like the intonations that I was giving when I read the, the original script, it's probably more something in the 50 uh disturbing to say the least but uh, we're gonna try regenerating that bees one of nature's most essential creatures without them our food sources would diminish drastically let's take a closer look at these amazing insects bees are responsible for pollinating a third of the world's crops including fruits vegetables and nuts 
so is it good enough for a corporate client? I think yes. I think it's it's uh, nice and even and steady, and uh, it it pronounces most things pretty well. And most clients don't want anything crazy. They just want the the information provided. So uh, is this good for narrators? No. This is uh, probably a little scary for all of us who have made money uh, and, and a living doing this. Uh, but it exists, and I don't know that there's any going back. It's just going to get better, which is a little bit scary. I mean, I, I do... All, with all these AI tools, I think it's great in that it, it lets people try new things that they might not necessarily have the skills or the time to do in the past, but it's definitely going to affect the livelihoods of, of uh, a lot of creative people, and that's never a great thing. So I wanted to push this thing and see what weirdness I can get out of it. So let's uh, rewind to this morning's Elvis and uh, see what he has to say. So I just want to try some different voices and see what we could get with 11 Labs. I want to see how far I can push the range of weirdness and see where it brings us back down. And I'm going to use that Descript sample script because it works. It's words. As the sun departs from the Antarctic, it lightens the skies and the far north. It's March and light returns to the high Arctic. Sweeping away four months of darkness. Uh, the voice that got me probably the most work was this little baby duck kind of voice I did on a demo reel. And for whatever reason, other than my normal voice, this is the one that people would hire me for. A hundred years ago, there were one and a half billion people on Earth. Now, over six billion crowd our fragile planet. But even so... There are still places barely touched by humanity. So that's a voice that's impossible to do for that long. It's the amount of strain on my throat is insane. So if I could actually harness the power of AI to be able to actually use that voice on longer pieces, that would be interesting. I don't know who would want a baby duck doing their stuff, but a uh, fun experiment. Thanks, Morning Elvis. Now we're going to go over to the voice lab here on 11 Labs' page, and we're going to go to the instant voice cloning. Clone a voice from a clean sample recording. Sample should contain one speaker and be over one minute long and contain no background noise. So we're just going to add a voice. We've already got uh, Elvis Doc, the one that we cloned from, uh, from the Planet Earth script. And we're going to say instant voice cloning. We're going to call this... Uh, Swedish pirate because that's what he sounded like so if like me you like saving things as WAV files so they're nice and uncompressed I uh, don't do that in this case I, I did that and it was too large a file so I've converted everything now to mp3s so they're much smaller than 10 megs and uh, that's it Swedish pirate let's uh, we can give him some labels we don't really need to we're gonna say pirate and this is to say that you have all the rights, which I do in this case. Don't clone anybody else's voice. That would be wrong. So that's it. It's cloned. It's instant. Uh, we can use it already. And before we do anything else, we're going to clone the baby duck voice as well. And just grab that baby duck mp3. Let's read that same B script with our Swedish pirate. Bees, one of nature's most essential creatures. Without them, our food sources would diminish drastically. Let's take a closer look at these amazing insects. Bees are responsible for pollinating a third of the world's crops. So, that's an interesting voice. I don't know what I could use it in. It's not really, uh, it's not as weird and crazy as what I was initially doing and it's also not uh good it's just like a weird voice I'm gonna lower the stability because the the initial voice was so unstable I think let's take it down to like 10 percent what does this warning say increasing variability can make speech more expressive with output varying between regenerations okay instabilities I guess that's what uh that crazy laughter was previously 
ensuring the growth and reproduction of future generations. Beekeepers play a vital role in maintaining bee populations, protecting them from predators and disease, and providing them with a safe and healthy environment to thrive. <laughs> he sounds so threatening. Um, I guess that's where the stability comes in. I, I he's a lot of sarcasm in that narration. I don't think I could use this for anything. I've just wasted one of my ten voice clones. Let's see what the baby duck has to say. Uh, here we go, baby duck. We're going to keep this a 75%, 75%. Sure, let's keep it high and generate this out. Bees, one of nature's most essential creatures. Without them, our food sources would diminish drastically. Let's take a closer look at these amazing insects. Bees are responsible for pollinating a third of the world's crops, including fruits, vegetables, and nuts. Bees, one of nature's most essential creatures. Without them, our food sources would diminish drastically. Let's take a closer look at these amazing insects. Bees are responsible for pollinating a third of the world's crops. So, it's interesting to see that uh, a voice that has so many weird ups and downs, like the, the baby duck voice, how it went when it when it had high stability it was weird but still kind of boring and then when you bring the stability down it's definitely much more interesting as a character voice you could see that in i don't know i don't know what i would use it in maybe a cartoon uh i like it because it's definitely even though i have a fairly big range of character voices it brought something else to the table it doesn't sound like me but it sounds interesting enough that I would try it uh, in something, I don't know what, TikTok videos, animated films. Uh, that's really all I can think you could do with it. It's nice to know that this kind of lets me broaden the range of voices that I have access to. Like, I have a pretty wide range of what I can do from really deep voices to weird voices like that duck. But uh, this is a whole other level of, of finding new characters that I can make for, for cartoons specifically, I think, uh, is where I would use this. So this was, it's fun. It's, it's interesting listening to your voice wrong, which is what this is, but it's definitely somebody is going to find some use with this as a creative tool, I hope. And that's all for now. Please dislike and unsubscribe.